Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my everyday makeup routine and this is kind of a big deal because my last everyday makeup routine was about a year and a half ago, it was one of my first videos, but now it just feels really old and I just really wanted to give you an updated 2016 version. So these are the products that I use every single day, they are my go-to products and this is my go-to every single day makeup look. So to begin with, I'm going to prime my face with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and this is just my favourite primer ever in the whole wide world. <laughs> so I'm just literally going to smear this all over my face and you can see already how glowy and radiant my face looks. Now for foundation, I have two favourite foundations. One is the YSL Touche Clap Foundation and the other is my L'Oreal True Match. And as you can see, they're very different shades and I'm somewhere in between at the moment so I'm just going to mix the two of them together to get a nice shade and I actually find these foundations very similar as well in like consistency and finish so they go really really well together. And then using my Real Techniques buffing brush I'm just going to blend this all into my face. I really like both of these foundations, I just find them both the perfect amount of dewy and the perfect amount of coverage. They don't feel cakey or sticky or heavy at all, but still give like a really flawless even coverage. So now I'm happy with how my foundation is blended, I'm going to use a bit of concealer just to correct any under eye circles, red patches, blemishes on my face. And to do that I'm using my Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer which is like a blogger favourite but it's because it's really really good, it's so creamy and amazing coverage but it's really really blendable especially for a drugstore concealer. So I'm going to start on my chin because I get a bit of redness there, also around my nose here, under my eyes obviously, and I'm going to do this in a triangle, down my nose and a little bit on the forehead too. And to be honest, I don't really know why I do that. They say it's to highlight and I don't really think it works, but it's OCD now, like I always just do it. And I'm going to go back in with my Real Techniques buffing brush to blend this all in. So now I'm going to use some bronzer to contour my face and this is just to give it some shape, also add a bit of warmth and colour to my face and I'm using my all time favourite bronzer that I just can't seem to stop using and that's the Benefit Hula Bronzer. It's just amazing, it stays put, it's completely matte, there's no shimmer in it, it's the perfect shade of brown, it's not orange. So I'm going to use my Hula Bronzer with this brush and this brush is the bronzer or contour brush from the Rosie Huntington Whitely range M&S. I really really enjoy using it so I'll just put my brush in there, tap off the excess and you guys have seen me do this a million times but I'm pretty much just going in the hollows of my cheeks, jawline, forehead, kind of like the figure of three shape. So now I'm going to apply some blusher and the blush that I've been using for like months now, I just can't stop using it because I love it so much, is this one from a brand called Delilah Cosmetics. It's just a really pretty soft rosy pink. It's really really subtle, really natural but just adds a lovely pop of rose and I just really like it and I just love the packaging of this as well. And I'm using another one of the Love Rosy brushes from M&S and when I apply my blusher I do a big smile to make the apples of my cheeks stick out so I know exactly where to apply it. Sometimes I go a bit overboard with my blusher because I can't stop putting it on because it's so pretty. Now it's time for my favourite part of makeup, highlighter, and you all know which one it's going to be. You're probably so bored of hearing about it, but this is my everyday makeup routine, so I had to show it. And it's the Benefit What's Up Highlighter. This is just a beautiful champagne coloured cream highlighter that is just my favourite. It's amazing. And I apply this to the high points of my cheekbones here and also my brow bone. Now my next step is to powder my face, I never ever miss this step because I just find it makes my makeup last 10 times longer, it also really 
finishes off the look, it blends everything together, obviously we've contoured, put blush on, highlighter, and I just find it blends all together and it really perfects the skin and just gives you that kind of flawless airbrushed finish. So I always use loose powders, I just prefer the way they feel on my skin, um, and the one that I'm using now is a very luxury powder, but I use it every day and it looks like I haven't even used it, there's so much product in there, it's amazing, um, and it's the YSL Souffle de Clat powder. It's like pink shimmer, it basically looks like fairy dust, but when it's on your face it is translucent it's not pink or shimmery but it's definitely illuminating which is why I like it and I'm using the matching YSL powder brush you can basically use any brush but I love this because it's nice and big and um, it's really soft and yeah it's really good for applying powder So the final step for my face is just to top up my highlighter with a powder highlighter just in case the powder has taken away any of the gorgeous glow from the highlighter I just like to top it up so the product that I always use because I know it's safe and I know it looks gorgeous is the Too Faced Candle Light Glow Highlighter this is so pretty it kind of has like a gold side and a pinky side but I just swish them together and it makes like oh the loveliest colour and I'm using this new brush by Zoeva and I just can't like I just hyperventilate over this brush because it's the new Rose Golden collection. Zoeva brushes, by the way, are my favourite by far. Um, I would recommend them to anyone. They are so affordable and such amazing quality. So I'm just going to run this into my highlighter and just go over the top. <gasps> so glowy look. Oh my gosh. I just love it. Can't get enough of the glow. I'm also going to put this down the bridge of my nose and over the tip of my nose. I've just seen people do this on YouTube and it looks pretty so I decided to start doing it. Basically story of my life. I saw someone do it on YouTube and now I do it. Basically my YouTube channel in the first place. Saw people doing it, was like, I want to do that, that looks fun. And also my Cupid's bow because apparently it makes your lips look fuller. I just think it looks pretty. I just think any way you can glow, then just glow. Because why wouldn't you just want to glow like a fairy princess? Okay, so now it's time for my eyebrows, and I use a few products. Firstly, I'm going to take one of Benefit's new exciting brow products, which is called Precisely My Brow, which is amazing, and I'm going to come back to it in a minute, but I'm just going to use the spoolie brush on the end of it to comb through my eyebrows before I fill them in. I'm just going to brush them through, ready to fill them in. So I'm using my trusty MAC Pot of Gel in True Brunette. It's the Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream with my 283 Small Angled Brush. And I just use small little strokes to do this because I still want the eyebrows to look natural. I don't want like super defined, like glam eyebrows. I seriously need to get my eyebrows waxed as well. Honestly, they're so much easier to style once they've been shaped. Um, I go to Benefit if anyone's interested. They are just like the experts in brows. <laughs> So I've basically filled them in, I am just going to go over them with the Benefit Precisely My Brow because it just has the tiniest little like crayon pencil and it's amazing just for filling in like really tiny gaps without making too much of a difference. So now just to set my eyebrows, I'm using another one of Benefit's new brow products which is amazing and it's called 3D Brow Tones and it's basically like a brow mascara and this will just set my eyebrows in place and give them that extra added like volume okay so now it's time for mascara I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes with these old eyelash curlers that I use in every video they're from H&M they're like three pounds So for mascara, I'm going to use another Benefit product, and that's the Benefit They're Real Tinted Primer. And I really love this because it's actually a deep brown. And where I'm fair-skinned and blonde-haired, it just looks a lot softer on my face, and it kind of just gives a more natural look um, for daytime, for everyday wear. So now all that's left to do is my lips and I always exfoliate my lips first with my Lush Lip Scrub. 
And now I'm going to share with you my current favourite lipstick and it's the YSL Rouge Volupte Shine in one of their new shades which is 44 and I mean that's all I've got left, that's how much I use it every single day. It's just perfect, it's the perfect pinky nude, it's so glossy and shiny and moisturising. It's just the best. I've worn this in a few videos recently and people have been like, what is that on your lips? It's amazing. And I'm like, it's this. So that's the end of my everyday makeup routine. This is the finished look. Um, this is just my everyday look, unless of course I'm having just a day at home where I won't do all of this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for me. And if you're new to my channel and would like to see more, I post videos every single Monday at 7pm and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button underneath me that says subscribe. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Love with two E's and Instagram at Brown, and you can also add me on Snapchat which is so much fun. Have a wonderful week and I will see you next Monday in my video. Bye! Thank you.